it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to show you how to make your very own Christmas stockings. So this project is very simple. I think it's a lot easier than you might think to make your own stockings. Now I'm going to show you how to make a lined version. You can of course take the lining out of this and not do it that way, but this will at least be a nice guide to help you in making your own. You could make stockings from cotton fabric, like a ticking stripe, or in my case here, I'm making it with a reproduction grain sack fabric. You could also, of course, use some antique grain sacks. If you go around and find some at the thrift shops, those would be adorable. Super simple, but let's just dive into actually showing you how you can sew your own stockings. All right, the first step is gonna to be to take a stocking that you already have and outline the shape. Since the top part of this stocking is gonna be made with a separate piece, I'm gonna line up the top part of the stocking part at the top of the fabric. Now, when I cut around the fabric, notice that I'm leaving about a half inch of seam allowance all the way around so that whenever I actually sew around it, it'll be the same size as the stocking that I'm using as the pattern. So you're gonna wanna cut two pieces from the main fabric and then two pieces from the lining fabric. Now I used a drop cloth for the lining fabric. I'll link in the description below the drop cloth that I use. I use a certain one because it is 100% cotton and it can be bleached, which I use bleach drop cloth to make all the slip covers in my house and a few other things as well. So I will link the one that I use below. Then to cut out the top band part, you're going to want to measure a piece of coordinating fabric. Again, I use drop cloth. It's the same as the inside lining that I'm using for the top piece. And you're going to want to cut out nine inches long and then fold the fabric in half and make it the same width as the top of the stocking piece that you've cut out. Now, after you've done that, cut it in half so that you have two pieces for the top band. The next step is going to be to sew the stocking pieces together. So first take your two pieces from the main fabric, put them right sides together. Now my grain sack that I'm using doesn't have a right and a wrong side, but if you're using something like a ticking or a printed cotton, you're gonna want to make sure that you have right sides together. Then sew all the way around, leaving the top open with about a half inch seam, being careful around those curves to catch everything and to make a nice shape for the stocking. After that, you're going to want to repeat that exact same thing with the liner fabric. And finally, you're going to take your top band pieces and sew them together at the side seams. But first, you need to add your loop and catch that in the side seams. So what I use for my tie is a little piece of this double fold extra wide bias tape in the color Oyster. I use this stuff for everything. So I use this on the ties for my grain sack, pillow covers, I use them for ties on my slip covers. You will find that a lot of my tutorials have this bias tape. Cut a six inch piece of it and then sew down the open side. Now fold it in half to make a loop and then fold one of the top band pieces in half to find the center and place that little strip just under the center. So that way whenever you turn it out, it'll be right at the top so you can hang your stocking. Just pin it in place and then sew down both long sides with about a half inch seam. Next, I'm gonna go over to my serger and give everything a nice finished serge stitch around all of the raw edges. Now, if you don't have a serger, that's totally fine. 
just use a tight zigzag stitch on your regular sewing machine and you can go over it a couple times if it feels like it's gonna fray. I just use a serger because I have one and it makes a really nice pretty edge. Notice when you take the top band piece and turn it right side out, if you fold it in half, you should have the little strip right at the top that will be perfect for hanging it on your stocking hangers, on your mantle, or wherever you may hang stockings. Next, turn your main stocking piece right side out so that the seams are nicely inside and then you're gonna take the lining piece and not turn it right side out and stuff it down inside. This way, the seams for it are meeting the seams for the right side out outer piece, if that makes sense. You'll see here how it looks. You're gonna line up the band piece with the top of the stocking and then pull it down right sides together and sew around that band. Now you wanna be sure to line up those side seams of the band and the main stocking. Now here's a little tip. If you have thick fabrics like I have here, it's a little bit tricky because you're gonna have a lot of layers when you're going around. So the way to avoid too much excess bulk is to make sure that the seams all face the wrong way. So inside the little band piece, you're gonna want one seam to go this way and one seam to go that way. And then inside the main stocking, do the same thing so that you have two seams on each side and not four on one side, too much bulk. And then you're gonna wanna sew all the way around to attach the top band to the stocking. Go ahead and give it a serge or a tight zigzag to finish it off and then pull it out and you have your stocking completed. Now you can make this with all kinds of fabrics, like I said, one thing I'd probably avoid is a stretchy knit. I even dreamt about making it with a cotton gauze fabric. If you did some double layers maybe and made it a little bit more substantial, that might be a really cute project. I thought about adding some ruffles around the center between the top band and the main stocking. That would be adorable. Or maybe some pleats. There are just so many options for stockings. You can just use your imagination. Now last year I did a tutorial on here on making stockings from a thrifted sweater. So I will leave a link to that in the description below and in the cards above. And you can see those tan knit stockings on my built-ins. I still love them and think that they're really cute and I like the mix match stocking look. It's also cute to put stockings around your house, maybe on your porch like I have in a photo here. I've hung them in my bedroom underneath the lamps. They're just festive to put all over the place for Christmas. On the blog, I have a post on ideas for where to hang stockings if you don't have a mantle. We don't have a mantle in our house. And there's lots of great ideas there if you wanna go check out that post so that you know if you don't have a mantle, maybe you can find some ideas on where to hang your stockings. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every single week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse.